Hey everyone, we're back for another week of Jiu-Jitsu Techniques. Uh, this time we're going to be focusing on some attacks from Open Guard, and we're going to transition into some submissions from there. Uh, so if you like what you see, make sure to like and subscribe, and uh, now go train. <laughs> So, uh, last week we talked a lot about this positioning here where I'm grabbing my opponent's collar and controlling their sleeve, okay? Uh, like last week we looked at a bunch of passes from here, like let me go ahead and just do any of them, uh, where they're peeling our grips and circling by and putting me in side control. So I need to be like aware of what the person is trying to do on top, but also I don't want to just hang out in this position. I have a lot of good opportunities for attack. So we're gonna look at one of my favorite submissions today. It's called Omoplata, and it's a really easy submission to set up from this position. So again, I'm using that right hand that's going for that cross grip on the collar. I wanna be breaking Lonnie's posture down. My left hand, I'm trying to punch Lonnie's sleeve towards my pocket, okay, on my left side. And I want you guys to watch how I lift my hips up to make myself heavier in this position so I can start passing that left leg over and extending my legs out. Okay, this is gonna help me sit up while still controlling Lonnie's elbow, okay? And from here, my left hand's gonna cross her hip. I'm gonna flare my legs out into what's called a 90-90 position. From that 90-90, I'm gonna drive off my back leg. Watch how I flare that knee up. It's gonna help me lift my hips here so I can rotate Lonnie's shoulder better and get that finish. So what I want you guys to think, when we have the normal plotter, we're keeping that tight right angle, and I'm looking to internally rotate Lonnie's shoulder, and that's what's gonna help me find the submission here. Okay, so one more time. We're using this guard. The guard is like a safeguard to protect me from the other person from getting around my legs, right? So again, when I'm here, I'm getting these grips and pulling everything in towards me while stretching Lonnie away with my legs. Okay, so I want, I want it to feel uncomfortable for Lonnie here. I should feel heavy, okay? From here, I can start lifting my hips up so I can pass my left leg over. And look at that hand. I pass that hand to my pocket, okay? From here, it's easy for me to extend my legs out to break Lonnie's posture down. And now look, I lean into Lonnie. So I wanna make sure I'm on that left hip. I move my legs into that 90-90 position and now I can drive my hips forward to finish the submission. Okay, one more time. Let's turn this way just so these guys can see a little better. So again, we're here, lifting our hips up. Okay, I wanna get heavy as I pull this arm across my hip. Okay, now from here that left leg shoots across and I extend my legs out as I sit up and go to that 90-90 position. Again, from here, driving over that far shoulder, I get the tap. Okay, so let's start with the omoplata as a shoulder lock, and then we'll look at it as a sweep after. One, two. Three. 